Hello, my name is Bogdan Varisky, and together with Roman Kashitian, I'm going to uh, discuss the state of the ledger canister as we are moving from the Mercury milestone to the Titanium milestone. So to put things in perspective, at launch, our focus was on ensuring that the ledger canister is robust and uh, in particular that it scales well. We also focused on ensuring that the outside world can interact with the ledger canister and in particular we have provided a so-called Rosetta node, which is a client for the ledger, which follows an industry standard. The Rosetta node runs outside the internet computer and um, helps hide many of the details of how one interacts with the internet computer. But in particular, it uses to serialize the communication uh, protobuf uh, interfaces. For the Titanium milestone, our focus has been on ensuring that other canisters can smoothly interact with the ledger canister. And for this, we have added a candid interface. We have provided a spec and examples that should help developers deploy canisters that can, that can talk to the ledger canister. Furthermore, we have looked into protocols for secure payments uh, via the ledger canister and Roman gave a community conversations which covered this topic. So a bit later, Roman will demo the candid interface. And what I'm going to do now is set the stage and go over some of the relevant concepts for his uh, presentation. Uh, so first thing to remember is that the uh, ledger canister essentially maintains a mapping between uh, account identifiers and ICP token amounts. A fragment uh, of the ledger canister may, may look something like this. So this, this account holds 10 ICP tokens, and this other account holds 100 ICP tokens. Okay, so, so each, each account is controlled by one IC principal, but each IC principal may control more than one account. So to distinguish between the different accounts that the same principal can uh, control, we use sub-account identifiers. So given a principal and a sub-account identifier, the corresponding account identifier is calculated by hashing the concatenation of the principal together with the subaccount and prepending to the resulting hash value its own uh, CRC32. One particular account that uh, is relevant for the letter demo is the so-called default account of a principal, which corresponds to the subaccount identifier that is the old zero bit string. So to send tokens between accounts, one uses the transfer method. So in a call to this method, the caller principal, in this case, canister A, needs to specify from which of its own accounts uh, the transfer should happen. In this case, uh, this is the default account. Specifies the destination account to which the funds should go to and specifies the ICP amount that uh, should be transferred. And there's a bunch of other uh, parameters that are not relevant for this uh, demo. The result of this call is that the specified amount is moved between the two accounts, and then B, the, in this case, canister B can observe the effect on its own um, account balance by calling account balance and provide, providing us input, um, a input, speci the specific account identifier. Um, so this is essentially all of the candid interface available at the moment. And I'll let now Roman uh, show the interface in action. Hello, uh, my name is Roman. I'm a staff engineer at Definity. And today I'm going to give you a demo on how canisters can transfer ICP on the internet computer. Um, so uh, I'm going to deploy a simple canister, uh, which rewards its users with um, ICP. So. Uh, you can post messages on this canister. To, uh, it will keep track of all the messages you posted. And uh, when it's time to distribute rewards, the canister will pick the most active user uh, in the last week and send a um, pre-configured amount of ICP to this user. So uh, for the purpose of the demo, I use a very small amount of reward, which is uh, 0.01 ICP. And I will use the mainnet ledger um, instead of the test ledger. <coughs> so um, the canister has a, provides a few methods. So one of the methods called post, which um, adds a new message uh, for the user. It has a method called my posts, which lists all the messages of the user. Um, it, ha it has a method called canister balance, which calls the ledger to obtain um, the balance of the canister itself. 
and it has method called distribute rewards, which executes the rewards distribution logic. It um, goes for all the users, computes the amount of posts, uh, number of posts in the last week, and um, rewards the most active user with the reward amount. So to save your time, I already deployed this canister on the mainnet, <coughs> and now we're going to interact with it. Um, first, let's see who I am as a, like which identity do I use uh, as a DFX user. DFX identity, who I am. And uh, the name of my identity is mainnet. And I have some ICP on this identity on the mainnet. Let's check fx ledger network IC balance. Yeah, I have approximately 4.5 ICP. Um, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to send some ICP to the canister. Uh, but let's first uh, check the balance of the canister. So for that, we need to figure out the account of the canister and I type the effects um, ledger network IC account ID of canister and I type the name of the canister I deployed ledger transfer yeah <coughs> this is the um, account of the canister on the mainnet let's check the balance I'll copy this Account ID, I type DFX, ledger, network IC, sorry, and the balance. Yeah, there is like um, 0 0.01 ICP approximately. Let's send a bit more because it's not enough for rewards. Uh, so I type DFX, ledger, Network C transfer minimum one amount zero point zero two and I give the account so I need to put double dash before account. <coughs> yeah. The transfer is over. Let's check the balance again. Yeah, it increased by 0 0.02. So we can also ask the canister itself what it thinks its balance, uh, because we provide the method for that. So I type the effects canister network IC call leisure transfer and account balance. It takes a while because um, the canister needs to go to ledger and ask the balance. So yeah, it's the same value that we got from the DFX ledger comment. <laughs> so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be I'm going to switch my identity to another account. Um, DFX identity, use Homer. This is the name of my identity. And you can we, we can check that I don't have any ICP on me. Um, I type DFX ledger uh, network IC balance and I don't have any ICP on me so what I'm going to do next I'm going to use my canister post some messages and get rewards so I type dfx canister network IC call ledger transfer post and I will use a simple post love donuts And the call succeeded. Now I will check my posts. I will just use a different method. My posts. I indeed have one post. So now let's call the method to distribute rewards. This will take a bit of time because um, the canister needs to make a round trip to the ledger to transfer funds. And it shows the 
principal idea of the winner. So let's check if uh, it's the same ideas I have. Tfx, yeah, same ID. So this means I should now have a, some ICP in my wallet, and I indeed do. That's all I wanted to show you today, and the purpose of my presentation was to show you the basic tools that you can use to interact with the ledger. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the great apps that you build on top of that.